Good morning all. Welcome to exam notes 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we will do a weekly roundup. We will discuss the most important current affairs from 17 to 23 July 2022. Do watch the video till the end. Let's begin. Which state has launched the Chief Minister's Institutional Plantation Program? The answer is Assam. Chief Minister Himanda Bishwa Sarma launched the Chief Minister's Institutional Plantation Program at Janata Bhavan in Guwahati. What is this program? To mark the Asadika Amit Mahotsav, the Assam government plans to plant saplings in 80,000 government officers' premises from July 17 to August 15. Let's talk about Assam. Assam is located here in the India map. Where is the capital of Assam? Dispur, who is the chief minister of Assam? Himanta Biswa Sarma, who is the governor of Assam? Jagadish Mukti. The Assam government has recently decided to increase the size of Orak National Park that is situated in Assam. Assam is famous for Assam tea and Assam silk. There are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Assam, Kasiranka National Park and Manas National Park which are UNESCO World Heritage Sites situated in Assam. Dipru Saikova National Park that is famed for feral horse also situated in Assam. Badra Ejjuf arrived in India for a quiet visit. He is the Vice President of which country? The answer is Gambia. Vice President of Gambia, Badra Ajuf, arrived in India. He is on a five-day visit to India and will participate in CAA Exim Bank Conclave 2022 along with attending other bilateral engagement. What is CAA? The Confederation Indian Industry. It is a non-governmental trade association and advocacy group that is headquartered in New Delhi. Who is the President of CAA? Sanjeev Bajaj. Gambia, officially the Republic of Gambia, is a country in West Africa. It is the smallest country within mainland Africa. Where is the capital of Gambia? Banjul, who is the president of Gambia? Adara Baro, what is the currency of Gambia? Gambian Dalasi. Indian Navy decommissioned with submarine crashed after 35 years of service to nation. The answer is INS Sindhutwaj. Indian Navy decommissioned the INS Sindhutwaj, a kilo class submarine that was acquired from the Soviet Union in 1987. It was one of the Navy's first submarines that could fire anti ship and land attack cruise missiles from beneath the surface, making them a formidable force multiplier in the naval fleet, who is the chief of the naval staff, Admiral R. Harigumar, who is the minister of defense, Rajnath Singh. Name the governor of Manipur who has received the additional charge of West Bengal. The answer is La Ganesan. Manipur governor La Ganesan has been given the additional charge of West Bengal. President Ramnan Kovid has accepted the resignation of West Bengal Governor Jagdeep Benkar, who has been nominated as the Vice President candidate by the National Democratic Alliance. Who has won women's 10 meter title in World Athletics Championships 2022? The answer is Shelley Ann Fraser Price. Jamaican sprinter Shelley Ann Fraser Price won women's 10 meter world title. She is the first person to win five goals in an individual track event at the World Athletic Championships. So who is the first person to win five goals in an individual track event at the World Athletic Championships? Shelley Ann Fraser Price. Which city is hosting World Athletic Championships 2022? Eugene, United States. Which city will host the World Athletic Championships 2025? Tokyo, Japan. Which department has launched its new mascot named Jagriti? The answer is Department of Consumer Affairs. 
the Department of Consumer Affairs launched a mascot, Jagri, to empower consumers and generate awareness of their rights. Jagri would be projected as an empowered consumer who spreads awareness regarding consumer rights and addresses solutions to the issue they face. The mascot would be showcased with the tagline Jago Krahak Jago, who is the Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Piyush Goel. He is also the Minister of Textiles and Minister of Commerce and Industry. Let's move to next question. International Nelson Mandela Day observed on July 18. Mandela Day, also known as Nelson Mandela International Day, is a celebration of the 67-year-long fight of the South African leader against the racial discrimination and human rights abuses. He was the country's first black president. What is the purpose of the day? The purpose of the day is to inspire everyone to make a difference in their communities by following the ideology and vision of Mandela. The day was officially declared by the United Nations in November 2009 with the first UN Mandela Day held on 18 July 2010. Let's review some of the important days in July. July 1st observed as Chartered Accountants Day. The day is also observed as National Doctors Day. Theme is Family Doctors in the Frontline. 2nd July, the World UFO Day. July 6, observed as World Sonosis Day. July 11, World Population Day. Theme is a world of 8 billion towards a resilient future for all, harnessing opportunities and ensuring rights and choices for all. As per the latest UN report, India will surpass China in 2023 as the world's most populous country. 12th July, National Simplicity Day. Theme is look for the bare necessities, the symbol bare necessities. 12th July also observed as International Malala Day. July 17, World Youth Skill Day. Theme is transforming youth skills for the future. Try to remember these important days and its theme. Who has appointed as the Ethics Officer and Ombudsman of PCCA? The answer is Vineet Saran. Former Supreme Court Judge Vineet Saran has taken over as the PCCA Ethics Officer and Ombudsman. He has succeeded Justice D.K. Chain, whose term ended in June last year. Vineet Saran is a former Chief Justice of Odisha High Court and also served as a judge in Karnataka and Allahabad High Court. Let's talk about PCCA. The Board of Control for Cricket in India is the governing body for cricket in India that formed in 1928, where is the headquarters of PCCA, Mumbai, who is the president of PCCA, Saurav Kangli, who is the minister of sports, Anudak Thakur. The Union Government formed a Committee on Minimum Support Price (MSP). The committee is headed by Sanjay Agarwal. The government has notified a committee to make more effective and transparent minimum support price eight months after it promised to set up such a panel while withdrawing the three contentious farm laws. The panel headed by the former Agriculture Secretary Sanjay Agarwal. The committee will have 26 members including farmer representatives, agricultural scientists, agri-economists as well as officials from the central and state government. According to the notification, the committee will look at ways to make available MSP to farmers by making the system more effective and transparent. Who is the Minister of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare, Narendra Singh Tomar. Let's move to next question. Dinesh Randin announced his retirement from international cricket recently. He was the captain of which nation's team? The answer is West Indies. 
Westlist keeper Dinesh Ramdeep announced his retirement from international cricket. Ramdeep played his last match for West Indies in T20 International in December 2019. However, he will continue to play franchise cricket. In the West African country that reported its first outbreak of deadly Marburg virus. The answer is Ghana. West African nation of Ghana has confirmed first cases of the deadly Marburg virus from two people in the southern Astani region. What is Marburg virus disease? According to World Health Organization, Marburg virus disease is a highly virulent disease that causes hemorrhagic fever with a fatality ratio of up to 88%. The viral illness hit sufferers suddenly and its symptoms include high fever, internal and external bleeding and severe headache. Let's talk about Ghana. Where is the capital of Ghana? Accra. Who is the president of Ghana? Nana Akufo Addo. What is the currency of Ghana? Ghanaian Sidi. Which country will host the Asian Games 2023? The answer is China. China will host the 2022 Asian Games in 2023. Asian Games will be held in Hangzhou from September 23 to October 8, 2023. It was postponed due to COVID. The event was originally scheduled to be held in September this year, but organizers in May postponed it as China tried to stamp out a large COVID resurgence in several parts of the country. Where is the capital of China? Beijing. Who is the president of China? Xi Jinping. What is the currency of China? Renminbi. Let's move to the next question. Name the English cricketer who has announced his retirement from one day international cricket. The answer is Ben Stokes. The England all-rounder Ben Stokes announced his decision to retire from one day international cricket. Stoke was recently appointed as the captain of the England men's test side after Joe Root stepped down. How much percent GST will be levied on prepackaged and labeled food items as per the new GST rate? The answer is 5%. The new GST rate for prepackaged labeled food items including rice, wheat, atta, paneer, curd, jaggery, lessi, buttermilk, labeled meat has now been fixed at 5%. All of these items were exempted from GST tax earlier. However, loose, unbranded and unlabeled goods will continue to remain exempted from GST. What is GST? The goods and service tax is a value added tax levied on most goods and services sold for domestic consumption. The GST is paid by consumers but is remitted to government by the business selling the goods and services. The new GST rates were revised on several items at the 47th Council meet. It was held in Chandigarh who has chaired the meeting, Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman. Which state or union territory has launched a scheme that will provide financial support to women willing to take driver training? The answer is Delhi. Delhi government launched a scheme to provide financial support to women willing to take driver training to become professional taxi drivers in future. What is this scheme? 50% of the training, approximately Rs. 4,800 for each woman would be borne by the transport department. As per the initiative, the government will invite fleet owners and aggregators to sponsor the remaining 50% of the training cost for women seeking driving employment in these companies. So 50% it will be borne by the government and the government will try to get sponsors for the remaining 50%. Who is the Chief Minister of Delhi? Aravind Kejriwal. Who is the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi? Vinay Kumar Saxena. Let's move to next question. Which country has the world's most powerful passport as per the Henley Passport Index 2022? The answer is Japan. Japan has the world's most powerful passport followed by Singapore and South Korea 
as per Handley Passport Index 2022. The holder of Japanese passport will get visa-free access to 193 countries. What is India's rank according to Handley Passport Index 2022? 87. India has slipped from 85th place to the 87th with visa-free access to 60 countries. India has the visa-free access to 60 countries. Please note down this point. While Japan is ranked at the top of the list, Afghanistan is ranked at the bottom of the 112th position with visa-free access to just 27 countries. Japan is top and Afghanistan is bottom country and India's rank is 87. Let's talk about Japan. Where is the capital of Japan? Tokyo. Who is the Prime Minister of Japan? Fumio Kishida. What is the currency of Japan? Japanese Yen. India has signed Memorandum of Understanding with which country for reintroduction of extinct cheetahs? The answer is Namibia. India and Namibia signed a crucial Memorandum of Understanding for the reintroduction of cheetahs declared extinct in the country in 1952. Why Namibia? Because Namibia has the world's largest population of cheetahs. Cheetah is the fastest land animal. It will find a new home in the Kunapalpur National Park in Madhya Pradesh. The cheetah is the only large carnivore that got completely wiped out from India, mainly due to overhunting and habitat loss. India has signed Memorandum of Understanding for Judicial Cooperation with which country? The answer is Maldives. India and Maldives signed a Memorandum of Understanding for Judicial Cooperation to accelerate court digitization and boost prospects for IT companies and startup in both countries. So India has signed Memorandum of Understanding for Judicial Cooperation with which country? Maldives. Let's talk about Maldives. Where is the capital of Maldives? Male. Who is the president of Maldives? Ibrahim Mohamed Solia. What is the currency of Maldives? Maldivian Rufia. Who has won India's first ever gold medal in men's skeet finals at ISSF World Cup? The answer is Mahiraj Ahmad Khan. Mahiraj Ahmad Khan won India's first ever men's skeet gold at ISSF World Cup that is taking place in Chongwan, South Korea. India is on top of medal tally with 13 medal. What is ISSF? The International Shooting Sport Federation ISSF is the governing body of the Olympic shoot events and of several non-Olympic shooting sports events. Who has elected as the 15th President of India? The answer is Draupadi Murmu. Draupadi Murmu elected as the 15th President of India. She will be the first tribal woman President of India, succeeding incumbent President Ramnath Kovind. Which state government has decided to bring policy to ensure power supply to every household? The answer is Karnataka. Karnataka government has decided to bring a new policy to ensure power supply to every poor household of the state. The state produces about 30,000 megawatt of power, 43% of the country's solar power generated in Karnataka. Where is the capital of Karnataka? Bengaluru. Who is the chief minister of Karnataka? Basavraj Bombe. Who is the governor of Karnataka? Tavarchan Gold. Who has sworn in as the President of Sri Lanka? The answer is Ranil Vikramasinghe. Ranil Vikramasinghe sworn in as the President of Sri Lanka amid the massive economic crisis in the island nation. Mr. Vikramasinghe had been serving as the acting president after Gotabaya Rajapaksa had to resign. Which country has rejected European Union's proposal to cut gas consumption by 15%? The answer is Spain. 
the Spanish government rejected the plan announced by the European Commission to cut gas consumption by 15% in the coming months in the view of possibility that Russia will cut the gas supplies to Europe. The European Commission's proposal aims at a voluntary 15% reduction in average consumption over the last five years. Where's the capital of Spain? Madrid, who is the Prime Minister of Spain, Pedro Sanchez, but is the currency of Spain, Euro. Let's talk about European Union. The European Union is a political and economic union of 27 member states that are primarily located in Europe. Who is the president of the European Commission? Ulsra von der Leyen. World's oldest main giant panda died at age 35 in Hong Kong. The oldest ever main giant panda, named SNM, in captivity has died at age of 35 at a Hong Kong theme park after his health deteriorated. NN lived most of his life at Ocean Park after he and female panda were gifted to Hong Kong by China in 1999. ADB has lowered its growth forecast of India for 2022-2023 from 7.5% to 7.2%. Asian Development Bank ADB has lowered its growth forecast for India, citing higher than anticipated inflation since April along with monetary policy tightening. The bank also enhanced inflation forecast to 6.7% this year. Let's talk about ADB. Asian Development Bank is a regional development bank that promotes social and economic development in Asia. It founded in 19 December 1966. Where's the headquarters of ADB? Mandaleong, Philippines, who is the president of ADB. Masatsugu Asakawa. Let's move to next question. Which state has stopped the third edition of Niti Ayok's Inta Innovation Index 2022 in the Northeast and Hill States category? The answer is Manipur. Karnataka topped in the major states category and Manipur emerged as a winner in the Northeast and Hill States category. Chandigarh was the top performer in the Union Territories and City States category. So Manipur is topped in the Northeast and Hill State category, Karnataka topped in the major states category and Chandigarh topped in the Union Territories and City States category. Try to remember these important points. Let's talk about Niti Aayog. Niti Aayog stands for National Institution for Transforming India. This institution replaced the Planning Commission which was instituted in 1950. Niti Aayog formed on 1st January 2015. It is a policy think tank of the Indian government which provides inputs regarding the different programs and policies of the government. Niti Aayog also gives relevant advice to the central and state governments as well as to the union territories. Who is the chairperson of Niti Aayog? Prime Minister Prime Minister Narendra Modi Who is the vice chairperson of Niti Aayog? Suman Bari Who is the CEO of Niti Aayog? Parameshwaran Iyer Let's move to next question. Which port has become the first 100% landlord major port of India? The answer is Jawaharlal Nehru Port. Jawaharlal Nehru Port has become the first 100% landlord major port of India, having all ports being operated on the PPP model. Jawaharlal Nehru Port, situated in Maharashtra. Who has sworn in as the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka? The answer is Dinesh Gunavardhana. Dinesh Kunavadana was sworn in as the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka by President Ranil Vikram Singhe along with 17 other cabinet ministers. Along with the Prime Ministership, Gunavadana has additional charge of public administration, home affairs, provincial council and local government. So who is the new Prime Minister of Sri Lanka? Dinesh Gunavadana. Who is the new President of Sri Lanka? Ranil Vikram Singhe. Let's move to next question. Which southern state in India 
did report the applicant signed fever. The answer is Kerala. Applicant signed fever has been reported from two farms in Manantabadi region of Kerala's Vainar district. According to Food and Agricultural Organization, applicant swine fever is highly contagious and fatal viral disease of domestic pigs. It was first described in Kenya in 1921 and soon afterwards in South Africa and Angola. The disease was confirmed among pigs of the two farms after the samples were tested at the National Institute of High Security Animal Diseases in Bhopal. Where is the capital of Kerala, Tiruvannamalai, who is the Chief Minister of Kerala, Pinrai Vijayan, who is the Governor of Kerala, Arif Muhammad Khan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi urges citizens to join the Harkar Tiranga movement by hosting the tricolor at their homes on which date? The answer is August 13 to 15. Prime Minister urged people to join the Hargar Tiranga movement by hosting the tricolor at their homes from August 13 to 15. The government has envisioned the Hargar Tiranga, that means tricolor at every home exercise in the run up to the 75th anniversary of India's independence. Which country will host Asia Cup 2022? The answer is UAE. The Asia Cup, which was scheduled to be held in Sri Lanka, has been shifted to the UAE. Sri Lanka Cricket had informed the Asian Cricket Council that the board will not be in a position to host the upcoming edition of the Asia Cup T20 because of the economic and political crisis in the country. So Asia Cup 2022 has been shifted to UAE from which country? The answer is Sri Lanka. Let's talk about UAE. Where is the capital of UAE? Abu Dhabi. Who is the president of UAE? Mohammed bin Syed Al Nahyan. Who is the prime minister of UAE? Mohammed bin Rashid Al Makyum. What is the currency of UAE? UAE Dirham. Let's move to the next question. Who has won the Best Actress Award in the 68th National Film Awards for 2020? The answer is Abarna Palamurli. The film Sura Reportro, inspired by the life of Air Tech and founder Captain G.R. Gopinath, got Abarna Palamurli the Best Actor Prize. Who has won the Best Actor Award? Surya and Ajay Devgan shared the Best Actor Award. Ajay Devgan won the Best Actor Award for Tanhaji, The Unsung Warrior, and Surya for the film Surarai Potro. Which country will face an early election after the president dissolved the parliament? The answer is Italy. Italian President Sergio Mattarella has dissolved the parliament, clearing the way for an early election after the Prime Minister Mario Draghi quit following the collapse of his national unity government. Matrela said the election must be held within 70 days. Let's talk about Italy. Where is the capital of Italy? Rome. Who is the president of Italy? Sergio Matrela. What is the currency of Italy? Euro. Who was the prime minister of Italy? Mario Draghi. Devinder Tucker has stepped out as the Managing Director and CEO of which telecom service provider company? The answer is Vodafone Idea. Devinder Tucker has stepped out as the Managing Director and CEO of cash-strapped Vodafone Idea. Akshya Munja, currently the Chief Financial Officer of the company, will replace him. Let's check next question. Which state government has signed MOU with World Bank Group to implement asset monetization and recycling program? The answer is Odisha. The program is part of the wider World Bank Group technical assistance to support the state in monetizing existing public sector assets. The move aims to attract large-scale public investment and bring in private sector efficiencies. Let's talk about World Bank. 
World Bank is an international development organization owned by 187 countries that are dedicated to providing financing advice and research to developing nations to aid their economic advancement. It founded in July 1944, where it's the headquarters of World Bank, Washington, D.C., who is the president of World Bank, David Malpass. Let's talk about Odisha. Odisha is located here in India's map, where is the capital of Odisha, Bhubaneswar, who is the chief minister of Odisha, Navin Patnaik, who is the governor of Odisha, Lal. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. If the video found helpful, please subscribe to our channel. Also share the video with your friends. To get daily current affairs, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.